Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the bench. Hit them right. Audio out here, Audio. Hello, audio around East Texas. Right back at you, man. Ground Zero. Hey, I'm fixing to do. I'm doing a video right now. You're kind of in it, and it has to do about Roger Beep. Yeah, yeah, it does, man. You're gonna be mad at me, I think. Yeah, I hope you won't be mad, but you're. <laughs> But you're in the video, man. I'm, I, it's, the camera's sitting on the on the bench right now. I figured I'd spike the mic. Heard you guys in there. I'm just gonna talk about Roger Beep a little bit on Sesame Street and professional drivers while they're driving. Some are just flying down the highway. Some are 78 feet long, 80,000 pounds, and some are, you know, 150 over 200 foot long and three times 80,000 pounds, going through our little cities, etc. And um, you know, they hear these beeps and distractions that'll take their concentration off the road and onto the dash for a split second, and that could be a problem, man. All right, that's in the video, Gate. That's all I really wanted to say. And I didn't target you, man. You just came in there. Hey, be cool. Take care, our guys. Ground zero gone. Roger. I, hey, does, does that make sense to you? Be cool, man. Thanks. Well, there's good people out there. There is. I'm not saying he's an agitator. By no means. It had nothing to do with him. Nothing. But it's real. Some people are going to see this video and keep doing that just because they're spiteful. Some are going to be doing it because they just got their gay sound and striker Roger Beep radios. It tells you're a rookie. Some are just going to agitate. But really, we don't need it on Sesame Street. I don't need to even have my radio on. I just turn it on and off and start talking on it. But as an ex-driver, a lot of miles, safety first. If you stop and think about it. Certain Roger beeps. You can't hear the person talking with a crappy radio. All you hear is the Roger beep. You're taking your eyes off the road for a split second. Jim Kratzer, I'm thinking about you, man. I mean, I never did nothing like you do. I have some big stuff, but I know you got. I know you got some heavy-duty stuff going on inside your truck, and you got all these escorts and the escorts too. Now these Roger beeps are gonna go beep 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 to make it all these kinds of noises while you're turning, grabbing gears, shifting, and looking around. When you hear a beep, certain frequencies mean you gotta look at your dash. You have to. All right, guys, four wheelers and some base stations, they have to look at their dash. Can you hear that in my voice? They have to. I know. I used to drive a truck. Do what you gotta do. Y'all be cool. 163 Mud Duck Station in the desert. I'm gone. All right, let me continue this a little bit. Times have changed. Nothing's ever gonna stay the same. It's just not. We're coming into another skip cycle, which is going to entice a bunch more people to get radios. And a bunch of them are gonna usually follow by the ones that they hear the most. And Sesame Street, I know some people are going to be mad, be spiteful. Sesame Street isn't the place for noise toys and Roger Beeps. It really isn't. You know, you keep hearing me say back in the day. Well, back in the day, Sesame Street was a sacred channel. Even before Sesame Street. Anyways, it was all about safety. Now, times have changed, yes. The new breed's gonna come in, some 
some people that were on the radio 40 years ago, 30 years ago, they're, they're going to come back. It's, it's inevitable. This next skip cycle is coming up. But drive now on the West Coast, yeah, they're going to be on 15 and 17, on 99 and the 5, etc. Past I-17, up 40 or 10, going west from Arizona. Yeah, these ch these frequencies change. But if we're going to share Sesame Street with truck drivers, so I'm not a truck driver anymore. We should give them a little bit of respect. Probably thinking, no way. Well, you might dislike him, you might like him. But you gotta respect safety. I wasn't fooling when I said, now I haven't been in a truck in a long time. They, they, they probably talk to the drivers now, for all I know, but low air, low water, or water temperature, or low, low water, ascending unit sensor, Something's going beep where they got to take their eyes off the road. It's that important. They have to. You listening? It's like you and your car doing a hundred. And all of a sudden you gotta take your eyes off the road, look at the dash for a second, understand what you're looking at, and then look back up. That truck's not really going a hundred. Say he's doing fifty, considering it takes them like twice the amount of distance to stop, give or take. Make sense? Plus it's annoying as hell. Some of you guys already know that, that's why you do it. Try to reframe from it. And those of us, let's just do the best we can to lead by example. Drivers be safe out there. Base stations, four wheelers, CBers. Y'all be cool. 163 Mud Duck Station in the desert. Clear and gone. Click, click.